Hello everybody, Spotted Gecko here again, bringing you another video for the game World of Warships Legends. And today, we're going to look at this, or do a review of this ship here. This is the new Tier 3 Premium British Battleship. This here is the Agent Court. Now, this is the ship that everyone's going to be hunting for in that new uh, mission called the Hunt for Agent Court, which will take place over the next uh, month. Now, you can find out, hopefully, in this review here... Um, as well as some other CCs, whether or not this is an actual good ship. And I'll tell you right now that I've been playing the ship uh, for a number of matches now, probably about 10 or 15 matches, and I found the ship to be a very, very good Tier 3 battleship. It definitely gives the other battleships like Arkansas, etc., a real run for their money at Tier 3 because this thing right off the bat, as you can see right here, she's got seven dual turrets. And we'll talk about those. The guns on here are very good. Plus, this is a secondary uh, build ship. You can make a really nice secondary build over here. I did for this uh, for this video here. I made this into a secondary build. And it has about a 7.7 .7 kilometer reach with its secondaries. We'll talk about that when we're in there. So, with this ship, we'll do a quick review of it. And then we'll take this ship out so you can see this ship in action. And boy, this thing can hit real hard. And she's also got really good secondaries. So... All in all, this is a very good ship, a very strong ship for Tier 3. So, let's have a look here. So, the first thing we're going to look at is we are going to look at the premium upgrades. Well, you know what? You don't get lucky like you do with the Arkansas where you get all these premium slots. No. You get the standard one premium slot for Tier 3. And because I am making this into a secondary build, and you'll see, why, and you'll see why after, um, I'm going to take secondary battery. Is on here but some people might want to make this into a dispersion accuracy build and by all means go with aiming systems it's up to you I I would highly highly not recommend doing main battery mod sure you'll increase your traverse speed but the battleship reload on the guns on this ship is one of the slowest in the game at 36 seconds and that is slow on reeler you don't want to add five percent to that so it's already way slow enough so do not choose main battery but if you want to uh, good luck to you anyways let's move on here so the next thing we're going to look at is let's have a look at the actual stats now at the moment i do have the british commander on here and that british commander happens to be charles madden he is my secondary uh, build commander for the british ships so let's go back up the stats so they're going to be skewed towards that. He is a, uh, a level 14, 14-2 uh, 14 or a 14-3 commander. Now, survivability. The ship has 43,500 hull points. She's got um, 305 millimeter armor. Torpedo reduction of 21%. Not bad for a tier 3 battleship. Now, artillery. I was just talking about this. She has got seven dual turrets. That's seven turrets. That's 14 guns of 305 millimeters. And those are really nice guns. Now, you won't Citadel a lot. You'll Citadel the heck out of cruisers for sure. But you won't Citadel a lot on the battleships, but you will do a lot of penetration damage, which is nice. And the AP on this ship is really, really good. Okay? At least, in my opinion, after playing it for about 10 matches or so, I really like it. Especially for a Tier 3 battleship. Firing range, 14.1 kilometers. Yeah, you're going to want to get your firing range up there. I believe it's the regular range on this thing is like 13.7, which is pretty short. So you might want to, you know, put an epic booster on there and uh, for battle booster and get the get it to 14.1. Uh, your accuracy dispersion builds, if you're going to go that route, you guys would probably have further. Uh, um, you can probably get that up to 14.8, 15, 15.1 kilometers. It's up to you. But I really love this ship as a secondary build. Now, uh, reload time, yeah, it's down 35.1 seconds, so uh, yeah, that is still pretty damn high. And uh, the turret turn time is at 43.3 seconds. And we got the HE shells, if you're going to use them, 4,400. Um, of course, if you use uh, Nelson Commander on here, you can get that way, you can get that up to around 5,500 if you want to do that with a 31% uh, fire setting chance if you want to go with the HE shell route. But the AP shells do really well in here. Now look at those secondary armaments. With uh, with Madden on here, we're looking at 10 single 76s. They fire every 2.8 seconds at 7.7. .7. 
and we've also with a four percent uh, fire chance with 1100 damage well we also got 20 single 152s 10 per side at 7.7 .7 kilometers at 4.1 second with a 12 percent fire chance 2200 shell damage that's a lot of secondaries and they are effective okay now maneuverability she is slow because she was so slow i had to do some changes there turning circle is pretty good at 670 and the rudder shift is a little sluggish but like all tier three uh, battleships she feels like you're driving a wet brick in the water not much you can do about that concealment wise well you know she gets spotted armor she actually has pretty half decent armor i really have had no problem going up against even tier four ships like uh like a, we, we had no problem sticking a Texas, etc. And this thing can really shrug off the damage. Even though she's got that uh, small uh, 7 to 20, 17 to 24 millimeter in the front there, but she's got a lot of good uh, side armor and that like that. She's not bad, okay? Overview, guns aplenty, and that is for sure. Seven 305, seven turrets with 305s, that's dual turrets for 14 guns. Probably why she gets the longer reload, because she's got so many bloody guns. Now, there's the beauty right there. She's got secondary reach, above average secondary battery range. And so you really got to take advantage of that. And she really is an effective secondary build, way better than the Bell. Um, it does give the NASA a good run for its money. Now, it's slow. Yes, it is. Speed is slow. Below average, max movement speed. Like I said, she is a slow-moving wet brick. Now, it says here the Action Court is one-of-a-kind dreadnought battleship built to order for Brazil, but later repurchased by the government of the Ottoman Empire. She was distinctive for having as many as seven turrets, and that's a lot. Just look at them at the back there, right? Three turrets at the back, two in the middle, two in the front. Oh, yeah. And with the outbreak of World War I, Agincourt was re uh, re uh, requisitioned by Britain and served in the Royal Navy. There's only one of these ships ever built, which is really too bad. She is a beautiful and she is a powerful ship. And she is nice. It's too bad it's tier 3. We couldn't make this one for a higher tier level. Anyways, now let's wander back out of here. And we're going to look at the uh, quickly the consumables. Um, right now, she's got three repair parties. And uh, there's their secondary enhancement targeting, which is nice to have. You're going to really need that. I put a whole whack of boosters on here for now. But I would highly recommend putting, if you're going to make a secondary build, to put the uh, epic battle booster on it to give you the extra 3% uh, and put the main battery range. That really does help out. It brings you from 13.7 with Madden up to a 14.1. It really does help. And uh, we got a flag on there, and the camel looks uh, pretty nice. If you look at that camel... There's the camel right there. That's the permanent camel you get with it. Really, really nice. Okay, let's move out of here. Now, there's lots of battleship commanders that you could put on here. <coughs> Excuse me. If you're going to go with an accuracy dispersion build, I would, go, I would recommend um, uh, Andrew Cunningham, right? Andrew Cunningham is really your go-to British commander for, uh, for your accuracy dispersion builds with uh, the crisscross markmanship, uh, reaching out, uh, will to rebuild in uh, Final Will Cannoneer. Um, if you want, you can't go wrong if you want to go that route. Um, like I already mentioned too, if you've got Nelson, she would be a, a good fit for this ship as well, especially if you're, if you're looking at really getting some hard-hitting HE shells out of it. With a Flamin' Bill, Big 7, that's a beautiful skill, giving you a 15, uh, I believe that's a plus 15% to your HE damage and your AP damage. You got your Markmanship, Master Mechanic, and Fight Fire with Fire. And the other one you might want to choose, you could choose Hood, and that can give your um, your uh, your battleship some more speed, especially if you have a high level Hood, because Hood special ability is giving those battleships way more speed, and uh, you might want to go that route. I am going with the secondary build commander Charles Madden. Let's bring him up here. Uh, I've got a high level Franz Hipper on here. I've got a high level uh, Haruna on here. To really, really enhance my secondaries, that gets them out to 7.7 .7 kilometers, which is what you want at tier three. And we've also got aim and fire. Um, you're probably going to want to choose um, a fire reduction one here. I would not recommend this 
because the reason I would not recommend it is because your reduction in range of 10%, that is pretty detrimental to the ship. So I would go with this one here, risk of catching fire, bring that fire chance down. Of course, go with Porcupine. Also go with Firefighter. Now you've got a, uh, a real low chance of getting put on fire. And I went with the properly meticulous, but I might also toy with this one, giving myself the extra 2% to range. But I found that this one works a lot better since you are that secondary build. And of course, without question, will to rebuild, okay? All right, so that's who I have on here. Let's move out of here. And I don't think there's any other battleship commanders. Oh yeah, you could use um, uh, the Azure Lane Commander, battleship commander, uh, Queen Elizabeth, if you so choose. Um, I wouldn't recommend her on this one. I don't think she would be very... She's not the best of battleship commanders. There's so many better British commanders. Anyways, you might want to choose her if that's all you have. And that's about it. Okay? So let's move out of here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to take this ship out and do some clips on it uh, of this ship in action. You can see those main batteries work as well as you'll be able to see the uh, secondaries uh, go out because we have a couple of secondaries as well. Anyways, hope you stick around for that. And that's what's coming up next. Some action with the Agent Court. Nice ship. I really, I recommend, <laughs> yeah. But before we go, um, I think it's a very good ship. I think the other CCs are also going to say it's a good ship. Uh, we'll probably talk about it on our CC uh, Discord later. But um, it's a good ship. So if you're going through the calendar, you're going through the events, you will get yourself a good, solid British battleship at Tier 3. So, till next time. Enjoy the clips.
Critical engine damage. 